Hi everybody, we are here in the McDowell foothills and I'm following up on an article I read about the Lost Dutchman. I know you're probably thinking the McDowell foothills. I know, right? Jacob Walsh's Lost Dutchman mine may be one of the more well-known legends from the Gold Rush days. So who was Jacob Waltz? Waltz was a German immigrant who came to the U.S. in the mid-1800s. He spent some time farming along the Salt River right here in the Phoenix area. In April 1868, records show Waltz had recorded improvements on a 160-acre parcel. This property was between 12th and 16th Street, close to Buckeye Road. On a current map, it's one mile south of Sky Harbor Airport in Phoenix. To some, Waltz was just another miner that had some gold and got drunk and occasionally shot up the town. To others, he was a sly old fox who kept his secrets to himself. We traveled to the Lost Dutchman State Park. I wanted to see the superstitions for myself and just where Jacob Waltz spent so much of his time. If you've never been, it's really amazing to see in person. Many old timers claim Waltz hunted for gold in the 242 square miles of these superstition mountains, possibly right here, every winter between 1868 and 1886. Waltz reportedly found a rich gold vein believed to be somewhere in the area. It could be that the Lost Dutchman mine is somewhere right back here. A lot of people tried to follow him to his claim, but Waltz was always able to elude them. Since 1892, it's estimated at least 9,000 people a year search for the Lost Dutchman Mine. There are also quite a few deaths associated with people trying to find the mine. Possibly as many as 600 people have fallen victim. It's reportedly a regular occurrence to stumble across skulls in the superstitions. From 1955 to 1978, multiple remains were reportedly found with holes in their heads. Two more cadavers were found without heads, and investigators were never able to find their skulls. Many people believe that the superstitions are cursed, and that the deaths could be related to the curse. There's no doubt whether or not Jacob Waltz found gold. Records show between 1881 and 1889, Waltz reportedly shipped about $250,000 worth of gold to the men. Some shipments are only a few months apart. To find out more, we stopped by the Superstition Mountain Museum. This is a pretty awesome museum. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of stuff to see. There is. Their exhibit paints a picture of Jacob Waltz and his search for gold. Some believe Waltz didn't find a new mine, but found the rich mine that belonged to the Peralta family. Others believe he found gold hidden by the Apaches. This matchbox is claimed to be crafted from gold ore found under Jacob Waltz's bed after his death. These documents support that claim. When Waltz passed away, he allegedly made a deathbed statement to his friend Julia Thomas with a map to the location of his mine. Julia and a man by the name of Herman Petrosh went in search of the mine but returned empty-handed. 
Later, as the story goes, Julia sold several versions of the map with misinformation on them. Some think this is the beginning of what fueled the interest in the search for the Lost Dutchman Mine. I find it interesting that geologists have said that gold doesn't even exist in the Superstition Mountains since they're the remains of an old volcanic range. But a recent U.S. geological report says the Superstition Wilderness is found to be highly mineralized. Native Americans believe the Superstition Mountains hold the entrance to the underworld. Before his death, Jacob Waltz left behind several different clues. One of the clues says, No miner will find my mine. To find my mine, you must pass a cow barn. From my mine, you can see the military trail, but from the military trail, you cannot see my mine. The rays of the setting sun shine into the entrance of my mine. There is a trick in the trail to my mine. My mine is located in a north trending canyon. There is a rock face on the trail to my mine. We traveled back to the McDowells in Scottsdale. In March 1972, 80-something years after Jacob Waltz's death, Scottsdale City Parks and Recreation Director L.B. Scasewater issued a very interesting plea to pilots that were flying in the vicinity of the Scottsdale Airport. He asked for their help with finding the base camp of an elusive old-time prospector that had been seen leading a pack animal in these McDowell foothills in Scottsdale. Scasewater said picnickers in the area reported seeing a shadowy figure but were never able to get near enough to identify either the man or the animal. Some old-timers living near the McDowells thought that the mysterious prospector people reported seeing might have been a ghost seeking the Lost Dutchman Mine. While we were here, we found the remains of this old stone building and a mine, but both had been abandoned long ago. We came away from our search with a better understanding of just who Jacob Waltz was, but for us, the location of the Lost Dutchman Mine still remains a mystery.